Hello, I'm Eric Parks, architect, long-time AECB member and PassNet coordinator for the UK. And today I'm in London as part of an awareness campaign to see how Passive House principles can be applied in practice to social housing and community projects. We'll be visiting three projects that are at the leading edge of how the Passive House principles can be adopted in practice. So what is the Passive House standard? It's an energy standard developed in the 1990s by the Passive House Institute in Germany that focuses on decreasing the space heat demand to such a low level that heating can be provided through a combination of solar gains, recovery of internal heat gains, and heated supply air. It's not, as is commonly heard, a house without heating, but a house with such a low heat demand that a conventional heating system is not necessarily required. So how is the passive house standard achieved? Think of a tea cozy. You need lots of continuous insulation to minimize heat loss, high specification windows to provide high levels of energy savings and thermal comfort. You'll need to minimize uncontrolled heat loss through drafts and infiltration, and ensure good quality air and provide heating by using high efficiency mechanical heat recovery during the heating season. So what does the Passive House Standard achieve? Compared to a typical UK dwelling or building, adopting the Passive House Standard means that you can save up to 80% on your carbon emissions and also 80% of your primary energy consumption. In the following three videos, we will meet some of the individuals involved in projects that are pioneering this approach in the social housing and community sectors. We'll be visiting tower block refurbishments by ECD Architects, a solid-walled mid-terrace retrofit for the future project by Pruitt Bisley Architects, and an extreme refurbishment of a community center by Bear Architects. The first stop on our tour is Roscoe Street Towers. 